I have tried one same prompt with these 10 AI models, so let's let's compare the results. First model is Quen 2.5, which was developed by Alibaba Cloud. And to try this model, you can visit huggingface.co slash chat. Also, there are numbers of other open source models available to try in Hugging Face, like Llama models from Meta, Llama Nematron from NVIDIA, and many other good products as well. So let's input the prompt. But wait, uh, we will evaluate models on a few things like time of output generation, how well the model can follow the instruction, and if the model adds something on its own and does it give any bug or not. Let's understand the prompt first, which is the same across all the AI models. So I want a website for a graphics design agency. And for that, I want a single HTML file for that with responsive design, minimal code, and best design. Website should have hero section, heading, and tagline call to action button, about and services section. And at the end, it should have contact form and footer. Then I have suggested some style guidelines with inst instruction of image and JavaScript instruction. At the end, I've mentioned putting CSS in style tag because if I don't mention that, then AI will provide CSS code differently and JavaScript code differently. This is the prompt. And let's start with Quen. On the first try, Quen has started giving good code, but after half answers generation, it started giving all the zero instead of alphabets and numbers. So I have regenerated the answer and the second time it is providing very good code. With this code, there is a working font awesome link for icons, which is a very good thing because most AI do not generate accurate or current updated links. This model has taken around two minutes and 19 seconds to generate the response, which contain the 287 lines of code. Let's look at the website. Design looks good, and when I click the call to action button, it navigates to the About Us section, which is not included in the prompt. So this is a good self-added feature by the model. In the About section, it has not given lorem or random words. Instead, it has provided good sentences related to a graphic design agency, like we bring creativity and professionalism to every project. So this is kind of cool. It has provided a proper contact us form. One thing to note about footers is that links actually go to the specified social platforms, which is a hard thing to do for a machine learning model if we don't specify this in the prompt. Now let's move to Gemini, a model trained by a team of experts from Google. When I submit the same prompt, it takes nine seconds to generate 225 lines of code, which is very fast. Let's check if it meets standards with this fast response generation. The call to action button takes us to the contact us form, which is good, but there are no instructions for linking icons to this page, and there is no link as well in the code. It just said that I have added icons as icon one and mentioned placing these images in the folder. Also, I wanna mention that if you do not specify which colors to use in the prompt, uh, it defaults to choosing the blue color instead of some energetic colors like orange, which should be used for a graphics design agency. The main thing to notice is that it chooses blue, which is primarily used by the Google design team and also used in Material UI. Next is Perplexity AI, which takes about 39 seconds and generates an HTML file with a length of 234 lines. But the generated website does not look good because the design is bad and no icons are added. Also, the call to action button is not doing anything. This model needs some work for code generation. Then there is the big competitor, Microsoft Copilot, and it takes around 23 seconds to generate 135 lines of code. This website does not match the standards of design, it has poor form styling, and the call to action does not look good, but it works when we click it and scroll to contact us, which is good. But overall, I am disappointed with this because I have expected more from Microsoft. When I inputted the prompt in Meta AI, it generated 187 lines of code and then stopped and said, Meta AI has reached its word limit for this prompt. To continue, try a more specific prompt. But if I modify the prompt, it will be unfair for other models. So let's move to Mistral Chat, which has generated 190 lines of code in 45 seconds. Design looks good and the call to action button is also working, but icons are not properly imported. I have to import icons in the folder if I want to show icons. Now comes the AI revolutionary model, ChatGPT. ChatGPT took one minute and four seconds, which is higher than others, but you are probably thinking that it is a good model and it takes time, so it is cooking something big. Then no, design looks good, but the call to action button is not working and it has not included icons at all. Also, I forgot to mention that it has generated 232 lines of code. 
Now let's compare this with Claude AI, which is the biggest competitor of ChatGPT. Claude takes about 43 seconds to generate 385 lines of code. Talking about the website, Claude has generated the best design and variation among all models, but it has not fully followed the prompt. I have mentioned that I want a background image in the hero section of the page, but Claude has not included it. However, I have to appreciate that it has included cool animation and also icons are present in this. Next is Nexus, which has generated a response in 28 seconds with 101 lines of code. When we first load the page, it looks good and well-designed, but after scrolling to the second page, it looks garbage. Moving to our last candidate, Cohere AI, which has generated 315 lines of code in just 21 seconds. This has followed all the commands from the prompt and generated a good website with proper design, but the call to action button is not working. If we compare models based on the timing of response generation, then Gemini tops the list with nine seconds, and then there's Cohere and Copilot with 21 and 23 seconds, respectively. Here is the full list of models. If we compare models based on the lines of code generated, then Claude AI tops the list with 385 lines, and the second and third are Cohere AI and Quen with 315 and 287 lines of code. Here is the full list of models.